As we continue to see increased fire danger around the county, Cal Fire and other local agencies say they are prepared to keep San Diego safe. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes was at Gillespie Field this morning as county leaders laid out their plan for future wildfires. All of the law enforcement agencies around the county are coming together to keep San Diegans safe, vowing to fight fires despite of jurisdiction boundaries. Behind me are some of the emergency response units being used to fight these wildfires. Now, local leaders say in terms of fires, this year already is shaping up to be worse than 2020 across the entire state. We so far statewide have responded to 4,000 100 wildfires. That is 1,200 more fires than we responded to last year. Already this year in San Diego County, we burned burn more than 7,000 acres with five major incidents. And just yesterday, we had a nearly 60 acre fire that threatened the community of Takati. Cal Fire has hired over 1,000 people to help with fire preparedness and response. We're told more cameras have also been installed around the county so crews can be better equipped when it comes to putting them out. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher was among the emergency response leaders. He says San Diego County Board of Supervisors voted this week to invest $2.5 million to go toward roadside vegetation management. Since 2003, the county has put $575 million into its wild fire response efforts. To date, San Diego County has 13 aircrafts available to help fight wildfires, 18 engines, three water tenders, bulldozers, and more. The units are a collection of CAL FIRE, the Sheriff's Department, and the U.S. Forest Service. This year we've done projects in... Stop you for one sec, I'm sorry. During today's press conference, county leaders had to pause after getting a call about emergency crews in the South County needing assistance from one of the county's helicopters. Local leaders say there are also some things that San Diegans can do to stay safe. We encourage residents to create that 100 foot defensible space around their homes and create buffers between their homes and the canyons. Fire crews are also encouraging residents to have a disaster plan in their home just in case they have to leave at a moment's notice. In El Cajon, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.